Hello crafters. This is Suzanne from A Creative Muse and I am here with my scrapbook.com large haul and this one is the part two to the previous. Let's just go right into it because there's a lot of goodies to cover here. I'm going to try and go fast though. And at the end of the video, I do have some six by six paper packs. I'm going to do a quick flip through with music. Okay. I'm not going to talk with that one. You guys know it's going to be six by six, but at least you can see the patterns just in case you're not aware of that particular paper pad being available. Okay. Let's get started. First up though, I just got the notice that the brand new Spellbinders Platinum 6 exclusive with scrapbook.com, that black die cut machine, I'm going to show you the picture here, is available. It's the new and improved Platinum 6, just in a black body, with the universal plate system as the basic cutting plates for it. The only difference between the original Platinum 6 die cut machine, which is what I have, and the new an improved Platinum 6 die cut machine. The opening is a little bit wider, just a smidge, because with the existing one, you have to line up your plates exactly, but they kind of gave you now wiggle for when we just keep die cutting in a frenzy. And so they also include the universal plate system. So that's available now if you're interested. I will put a link for everything I'm showing you, including what I just mentioned, all right, below. Now let's talk about, I got this freebie. I haven't been getting a lot of freebies though but I did get these two freebies recently. Here's another 3D from Sizzix. This is the Geometric Flowers A2 embossing folder. You guys know I like my Spellbinders oversized embossing folders. Those are just, for me, so much easier to work with. More room to play. And also I got this from scrapbook.com as a freebie. It's the Paige Evans Stamps. So cute. I don't know what it's called. Garden Shop. See, it says exclusive with scrapbook.com. So that might not even be available for purchase. Right. Now let's start off with what excited me that's new. Elizabeth Craft Designs. This is ginormous. Yes, this is letter size packaging. You know I'm going to cut this thing down. <laughs> maybe, maybe not. Because maybe what I'll do is keep this with everything else in one big scrapbook.com storage envelope that's letter sized. And these, this is from her newest release, Triple Love. So we have the warm winter mug and I might as well just tell you guys too, Coffee Lovers Blog Hop, I'm gonna insert the graphic here. That's starting November 11th to the 18th. You can make all your coffee projects and link up as many projects as you want because there are many super sponsors in that event. I have participated in Coffee Lovers Blog Hop myself many a times, made like 10 cards. I don't know how many I'm gonna to get to make this time because it's just time. But make a few coffee inspired or hot beverage, but it's fall and winter themed, okay? But it's certainly worth it because they're a fantastic prize. I'm gonna put a link in the description below that gives you all the details. It has to be a new project though. This would be perfect for Coffee Lovers Blog Hop. Warm winter mug, love. So the main mug, three and a half inch tall by almost four inches wide. Super duper cute, comes with a little gingerbread. Not the full body, he is sticking out of it like the example. I love examples like this. There are two drop-ins for two different designs. Here you can see polka dot drop-in, and then this like a sweater drop-in. And then there are all these little add-ons, marshmallows, um, candy cane. Why didn't, oh, I wish he had made this full size so I could have used it for other things. But you can use that snowflake though. Mm-hmm, cute. Then look at that. We have the whip topping with extra fudge on that topping. Adorable set warm winter mug when I saw this I was like oh yes oh yes also let's bake come on this is so cute this is a great little die set this is to match with her existing dies like the little girl and or if you want to use her with Mrs. Claus that face works over here but isn't this cute oh I can't even give you a measurement look at that it's too many pieces oh so the body doesn't come it's just accessories but there's wait a second there's the arms is a dress here Oh, well, maybe, hold on. Okay, there's a shirt, there's an apron. So it's not like a dress. That's the bottom of the dress. See, this is why I deconstruct all my dyes. You guys ever notice that my dyes go in a certain order? This is the reason why. I look at this and I'm like, what? 
I'll keep flipping back and forth. That drives me crazy, but I love everything here. And I love that little Christmas pudding with the frosting and then the bow with the um, batter coming out. This is just beyond adorable. And I guess you could do the arms here with the rolling. That's adorable. And the whisk, see, they gave you fingers in the front. Where is that? Right here. Ooh, ooh, so the arms are here. Some arms are here too. Love. I don't have the whole collection either, this new collection. There is a stove, Mrs. Claus. Oh, come on, isn't she adorable? So you can probably use her over there. Okay, I do have a face here, I have hair. When I do this, then we'll talk about measurements, okay? But isn't this adorable? So you have options. She can be outside with her little muffs. She can be inside just hanging out. And look at the little holly and berries and her hat, no hat. Just so sweet and adorable, love. Next, we have Santa Claus, again, in pieces. But cute, right? Look at all those layering and, but not too much. I know this looks like a lot here, but she keeps everything in order. So you could do, I like the mitts, you can do them in black, run this whole thing in black with the belt, one time, one color. So it's not individual little pieces. I love that, and I love that he has the list, and you can skip the list if you want. Oh, so, so cute. Next, there is this nested tags, as if I need another tag. But this nested tag, look how big this thing is. Oh yes, oh yes, many album makers out there. <laughs> Just for that, have I made a mini album in a million years? No. Ah, look at this. This is great for scrapbooking too. Seven and a half by four and a quarter. That's the tallest one coming on in. You can use this for photographs. If you do scrapbooking, you can cut this big one, decorate it up as a matting layer, and then put the photograph as a mat on top. That would be really cute with a tag. In a mini album, it would be for pockets. This could definitely work in like a eight by eight or a 10 by 10 mini album. I would do it in a 10 by 10 because of the scale. This is huge. Or it could be an album by itself. If you know how to make that spine and do this as an album, it could be a tag album. Cute, especially in these larger sizes. Smallest size, you're looking... Three inches. So this is three inches. So this is a nice, generous tag set and not a bad price point either. Or if you just do tags and you do like mixed media tags, that's a great tag. Comes with the reinforcers too. Love, love. So this one is nested tags. Cozy fireplace. Super duper cute. These little bricks, I think you can inlay as many bricks as you want or not. See the bricks? Look at the little holly. I did watch Elizabeth Crafts Designs video on her YouTube channel and I saw when she demoed all this stuff and then I just went over to scrapbook.com and it was like, add, add, I know. But it's just so cute. Cozy fireplace. The collection doesn't have a name. I guess you could call it the holiday collection. Super cute. And there is a wood burning stove too. So I'll put the stove in the description below. And the stove would go with the kitchen set, okay? Next, I showed you guys that I had hauled the gingerbread stamp set from Pink and Main in the first scrapbook.com haul video. I went ahead and got the matching die. This is called gingerbread kisses. Oh, this is just so adorable. I just Still laughing over this one. <laughs> I'm in the jar and this one is like, they're not letting me out the jar, I'm gonna go take a nap. <laughs> I just love this. Ah, two and three quarters of an inch by like almost two and a quarter inch wide. Just so cute. Nice scaling for coloring. If you color with a lot of the E30 markers, Copic markers, you'll have a better time blending this and it working smoother than if the image is really big, okay? Hint, hint. And so the die set, same thing, gingerbread kisses. Love, 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 love. And it cuts out the sentiments. Gingerbread kisses, hot cocoa kisses. It's beginning to taste a lot like Christmas. Ooh. And I will link part one in here too, if you haven't seen it yet. Next, I'm going to go into paper tray ink. This one I need to make before Thanksgiving. Into the blooms, pumpkins. Adorable, I saw a video here on YouTube. I was like, why did I watch that video? But this thing just comes together so well and it layers up well and there's a big pumpkin and a small pumpkin. Three inches by a little bit over three and a quarter for that big one, small one. You're like at two and a half by two and a half. This is fabulous and it layers up and it's really, really nice set. From the examples I saw and now seeing it as a die, I'm like, oh yeah, 
so good into the bloom pumpkins this one i just had to because these bows were just so adorable bows galore that's what got me when i saw it listed on scrapbook.com look at all the bows that it makes it even makes that one that you put on presents love that so the bows are roughly oh layers up too so that one layers up one and a quarter inch this one let's go with this one same one and a quarter by well, roughly one and a quarter and then smaller bigger cute though these are nice flat bows if you're mailing a lot of your cards when it comes to the 3d you know um, popping up and dimension that adds a lot to your postage this would be a great die set for you scrapbookers too instead of always buying stickers with bows put a bow on your layout or with the photograph you you know glue a little bow onto it but this is flat so then it still slides in your sleeve but you don't have your you know your scrapbooks looking like this with everything falling apart everything can still fit in the sleeve this would be great for your scrapbook layouts too and of course mini albums yes journals too Speaking of paper tray ink, how could I forget this? This one, I didn't get this at scrapbook.com, but I know it's coming if it's not there already. This has been like a big winner out the gate. I did get it from paper tray, but it should be coming to scrapbook.com. So I'm going to include it here. Gingerbread Bakery. Hello. As you can see, I had to separate it. This is not cheap packaging. You could knock off $5 from this <laughs> set by skipping this packaging. <laughs> Just give me regular packaging. But this is the Gingerbread Bakery and it comes with the two stamp sets in this packaging that I would never use it. So I put this here, you get the gingerbread, there's some great videos. Even um, look at the Paper Train Inc. YouTube channel, you can see this being put together. And there is the die set. I believe Nicole Sfor too did a video on this recently. So that's the matching die, but adorable, it's this. Just look at it. It's so pretty when it comes together. It does come and you like this, don't wait. Just get it. Just get it and don't wait to get it. This, I don't know what I'm going to do with this. I, you know, put it here in my scrapbook.com storage envelope, but I would never store it like this. I, When I have it like this, I know exactly what it is. You know, put it in this thing. I have no idea what I'm looking at. Cute though. That's a, if you love that whole baking thing, that's a must. Hero Arts. Oh, oh, I had this one in my cart for a while. I love the Holly Jolly. There is three versions of this. This one is called Christmas Words. There's two others. I have the other one in my cart. It has the word sparkle in it. There's another one. I don't know what is the uh, season's greetings or something like that. They're all cute, but I like this one because it has a Merry Christmas and a Holly Jolly and Noel. And I like the font it does come with the shadow. Really, really nice. So I'll put a link for this and the one with the sparkle and the other one. This one now, love. I saw a video, Nicole's four. She colored this up and made a whole thing and I was like, oh yes, that's a good sleigh. And oh, it's just cute, cute, cute. Not a bad price point either. Santa's sleigh, fancy die. The sleigh, three and a half inch by under two and a quarter, okay? cute comes with a present that adorable bow you could put a tree in there really really cute little die set next got some photo play i have to color this one up for coffee lovers blog hop this one is called i love fall so this is the stamp set let's look at that image she is roughly four inches tall by one and three quarter. This one shouldn't be hard to color, even though it is four inches, but it's a small scale. It's when they're four inches and wide. That's when blending can, you know, but it's good practice too. But this should not be difficult to color. All right. Super duper cute. Love the sentiments too. Hello, fall and the font. Autumn greetings. Your kindness warms my heart. And then one. here is the coordinating die. I love fall etched dies. They are separate. Okay super duper cute and the dies it does cut out that little space the space in the leg here and the space there so i like when dies get that close adorable adorable coffee lovers blog hop you will see it next i love christmas ooh ooh love 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 let's go with the bigger girl she should be again four inches one and a half here she is with a wreath 
Here she is outside. That, yeah, yeah, this is outside too because she has on her little boots, but cute. You could be inside, outside, whatever. Here's her little Santa hat with the little holly. And here's her, her nice little hat. And here, oh, okay, you know what I was thinking? Don't laugh, but you're gonna laugh anyway. I thought her hands were in her pocket, but I just realized that's her hands. <laughs> oh, help me. <laughs> You have an option here. I thought this was like her hands in her um, hoodie. <laughs> she can have her hands here with the tree, here with the stocking, with a present, with the hot drink. So this can also go for coffee lovers. And I don't think it can work. I don't know how it would work here because that's her hand holding the wreath. So you couldn't, I don't think you can use it over here, but definitely here, candy canes and a stocking. Oh, come on, guys. That's adorable. Warm hugs. Here's again the great font. Merry Christmas from me to you. The die does not cut out the sentiments, but everything else. Cute. I love Christmas. Photoplay makes great products, and they're not like crazy expensive. Great price point. Hill and Snowbanks double stitched. You're like, Suzanne, do you really need to get another one of these? I'll explain to you why I got this one. One, it's a drop in meaning it's not dictated. Most of mine are like dictated, like it would have an edge. And you know, I love those too, but I love that it's double stitched. And I love that it has varying sizes. And I can also do this bit here for just texture and great price point. Love, love, love. Hill and snowbank. So you could have my little girls standing in something. I love these things. Scene building. There it is on the back. All right, moving on. Trinity stamps, gotta do my Trinity stamps, all right. First up, I tell you, if I see a good coffee cup or coffee mug, and this one is another great set, and I love the shape of this one, Santa Mug by Trinity Stamps. Love, love the mug. I got another one for coffee lovers. Three and a half by three and a half. There's a little ginger. You can do the face of the ginger. Is there a picture? Oh, here's a picture. I love that. So you can do, oh, it is Santa's face, actually. I thought that was a ginger's face. Here is the bit for the ginger. Santa's face for here. And then I guess that's the eye for Santa, nose and cheek. And this is holly with the berries. And then a nice snowflake, too. Look at that snowflake. And the topping. Topping gets me all the time. That's a good shape for a topping. Love. Santa mug. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Oh, and that's the rim right here. You can change the color. You can change the color on the bottom and here. And put a belt or decide not to put the belt. And I love that I can use the face or not use the face. Wasn't going to get this. I saw it and I was like, no. Then I watched Jennifer McGuire's video and I just was like, I'm going to go to scrapbook.com and put that in. <laughs> this is so nice. Snow globe card. She did a really good video with this. Four and a half by four. Eight and a quarter is a full length. This could go with your platinum die cut machine. This is my um, embossing plate, which is the same size as the original. It can work, but if you have the universal plate system, then you're fully covered. So this one may be tight. You may just need to shift and rerun it again, but I like to go with my bigger plates when I see something like this and just run it one time. Cute though. Jennifer McGuire did a whole thing and this is a drop-in if you want to have the snowy sky or you can do ink blending you can add that base and she just did a really good video with this one snow globe card so thanks jennifer as always <laughs> and then and i just thought it was just so cute frosty cafe love frosty cafe is going to take up a nice portion on your a2 card five inch tall bye yeah, three and a half inches wide. So that would take up a nice amount of real estate on your A2 card. Now the die, in this instance, the die is real nice because the die is cutting out that space, all of this space. So you can do a lot of ink blending and you're looking through it with this stamp. So I haven't tried it yet to see how delicate this part is, but you can cut a template with this, then drop the stamp on it and line it up, that type of thing to stamp it out. Yeah, there's a way of doing it. Frosty Cafe love photopolymer stamps too 
by Trinity Stamps. Love, love, love. Looks like easy coloring. Snowmen are the easiest thing to color too. You just do the outside. Use your clear alcohol ink just to blur it out a little bit and you're done. Maybe a little cheeky if you want. Easiest thing. Super duper cute. Not a lot going on here either. So this is not crazy coloring. Keep that in mind. Frosty Cafe. Can I do this for Coffee Lovers Block Hop? Yeah, cold brew coffee. I sure can. I thought it looks like ice cream, but there is some coffee in here. So I can make these as coffee drinks love. So I may do that one. You'll see it then. Next, from Trinity Stamps, you guys know I love my gnomes. This is Baking Spirits Bright. Look at this. Now, this one may be a little bit more challenging to color, but he is a small scale, okay? But I just love these little gnomes from Trinity Stamps. Three inches by two and a quarter, and you get Christmas spice and everything nice, Baking Spirits Bright. Does cut out with the coordinating dye, that sentiment. And he has his cookbook, his little flower, oh, and the whisk and his little hat. Love, 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 love. So you're going to see that from me. I'm definitely doing that one. Deck the farm. This one is a big one. Again, photopolymer. Five inches wide. Three and a half inch tall. Have yourself a merry little Christmas. Oh, love that. There's a coordinating die. You can use it beyond this set. Stamp it out on everything. Um, deck the halls. Instead of the halls, deck the farm. Cute. Merry Christmas, y'all. Super cute. Super, super cute. Deck the farm. Love. Love my little Nomi. The hardest thing to color, if you want to say it's the hardest thing, but if you want to do little ticks, that's where the gnomes get interesting. If you want to do the little flicking, but you don't have to. But it, you know, practice. Practice, practice, practice. Next, Honeybee. I have these three from Honeybee. There is a new release. It has not landed at scrapbook.com yet. I don't know what it's waiting for. This one is Lovely Layers Mum. In the past, I've had Lovely Layers Coneflower, Lovely Layers Sunflower, um, some other ones. So there is now Lovely Layers Mums. There is also Lovely Layers Poinsettia. Mm -hmm. You're looking at roughly over three inches, three and an eighth by two and three quarter, and you layer it up. Next, I have Lovely Layers Fall Foliage. Adorable. I saw a video from um, Honeybee Stamps. And Honeybee Stamps, they do Facebook Lives, and it was a Facebook Live where I saw this combination together. So, yeah. <laughs> Thanks, Honeybee. And um, let's do the foliage here. Four and three quarter, one and three quarter. Cute, and all different kinds. You have this, I think it's called cattail or something. Cute, cute, cute. And this teapot. Teapot and cup. Love. Three and a half, two and a quarter. Super duper cute. No, this is not cut lines, thank goodness. It's just going to give you an embossed detail. Can you imagine if all of this cut out? I believe there is a stamp set. There's something that goes with this, but I didn't get it. I just got this. You can use this for Coffee Lover's Blog Hop. Next, Waffle Flower. Saw this one. This is not new, but it's new to me. Blanket, stitch, layers, dye. Love, love, love. Can't wait to play with this. See the stitching there? It's giving you that blanket stitch. And now I know what a blanket stitch is. <laughs> Didn't know what that was before when I did the um, Spellbinders Christmas Flea Market when I was stitching with the dye. That's what my blanket stitch should look like. <laughs> All right, let me give you the measurement. Five and a quarter. So it's a quarter inch shy of an A2 and four inch, okay? So you would still have a little border if you Adorable. want. Adorable. Blanket stitch. Love. And I love the little dot detail too. And the scallop and that blanket stitch. Looks very interesting. And here, this one is Winter Lake Dye. This is a scene dye. I love this one because here, that could be your ground. That's your ice pond. Here are the trees. There's a night sky. There's And everything has a cut line. So you could cut it out, do your ink blending, come back in, and then piece it back in. Super duper cute. Let me give you a measurement and not a bad price point either. Four and a quarter, five and a half. Cute, 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 cute. Winter lake with all my little critters. As if I don't have enough swatching going on. There is the ink pad swatching matching die. I did get this because I like this sizing here to do my swatching. I had used the Catherine Pooler swatch, that's it. The little ring here is just so, 
I can see that I'm gonna to have to cut a whole bunch of reinforcers. This one, there is a stamp set that goes with this and you can do like ink blending and all that. I'm really doing it for cardstock and some other use, but I like the sizing of this. That little tag, and you can use this as a tag too. Two and three quarter by two. But I think this one is gonna be sturdier and that looks like a typical reinforcer if I do need a reinforcer. So there is a matching set to this, okay? In terms of a stamp. Next. Oh, two more from Waffle Flower. Stacking Banners die. Not sure if I showed you this before. I don't think so. Two and three quarter, under half inch, and it says stacking, so this was probably a little bigger than that. One has stitching, one has like an outer. Super duper cute. Not a bad price point for your sentiments. Next, this one is super cute. Winter Crystal Dye. So it's a snowflake with a little outline, and the outline has that dot detail. Love, and this snowflake was very pretty the snowflake itself two and a half inch winter crystal dye pretty 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 and next i got twig and stump high price point from sizzix tim Holtz showed us this and i was wondering why this thing was expensive but it's because there are different versions of twig and stump in this die set so you get twig means he's tall and slim stump means that he's shorter yeah you guys know <laughs> what tim means you get it Twig facing this way, stump looking up. Then there's another one where twig faces that way, stump looking that way, both of them looking up. There is one, two, three. There's about three or four different body positions and then all the accessories. Twig and stump, cute. Love the tree, love the little um, gift packages that he's on, holding up the sign. This one, lots of opportunity to play because the arms are gonna be able to move and everything. So I had to get this one. I watched Tim's video on this release and I was like, thanks Tim. He has been having some great videos lately. I have not even watched the Lumberjack plaid yet. It's in my um, list of things to watch, just time. But I did get it. <laughs> I got embossing glaze, Lumberjack plaid. I got the Distress ink and I got the Distress Oxide. Is my Oxide closed? It doesn't, there, ooh, I hope it's not dried out. Hold on, that looked like it was open there for a second. Oh, okay. No, it's not dried out. It was a little bit up. Lid wasn't closed fully. So I just was testing it there for a second. Pretty color. Let me just clean this. Don't you love my glass board? There is a special coming for um, Black Friday, okay? So I'll tell you guys about it in case you're interested in getting one of these glass board studio glass mat and uh, extra code. Because right now, if you use my code Suzanne20, you'll get 20% off. But there's another code coming. This size is the 18 by 24 inch, I believe. In my personal crafting, I'm actually using the 9 by 12 a lot. This one stays in here where I film video. And then the one that I'm using is like this small. Love it too. That one travels well for crops. I took it to a crop recently. I went to a crop recently. That's going to be on a Saturday morning makes. And she was great great and she is magnetized they're all magnetized now okay so expect to see something with a additional discount if you're interested in getting one of these i also got distress grit pace snowfall tim showed us this in a video i bought it i know he said this can dry mess up your stencils etc this was what i was talking about when i did the video with simon hurley's new release when I said that the lunar pace is very forgiving, this is not as forgiving, but the reason why I got it, because it's snowfall. And I've been looking for something snowfall, and when I saw Tim using it, it did have a crystal snowfall look, and people talk about it being great. So that made me say, all right, I'll give it a try. Hopefully I don't end up parking this for the next five years. So fingers crossed. Because sometimes when it's too difficult to work with or it's ruining my stencils, I just, I can't. <laughs> I just, oh, it just drives me crazy. I may have to have a bucket of water right beside me. Like when I use it, I just put it in the bucket, the stencil and the applicator immediately. But um, Simon's Lunar Pace, much more forgiving. Like I don't know what the difference is in the chemical composition, but there is something different between them. His own is much easier. For somebody who doesn't do a lot of mixed media too, that one is much more approachable. But I am gonna give this Snowfall a try because it's pretty. Mm-hmm. <laughs> we'll see. Next, I already opened up my pack. I love these Crafters Companion picks. This is like $2 and something and you get 
two in a pack scrapbook.com restocked it for example this is an older one but you get two in a pack like this for under three dollars this is a great pick to help with everything just love it for my dyes and stuff to clean out everything also new spellbinders pearls there's this fashion oyster ooh so i've been showing you the reds the blues the pinks i mean does this look like a pearl yes but it does have that kind of a ivory more like a wedding dress pearl if you guys know what i'm talking about there is like stark white pearl and then there is that other ivory off-white pearl this is the off-white just letting you know if you're looking for something like that because there is a difference in the colors if you're picky like me i'm a picky crafter i like to have you know stark white if i need stark white and then this this is more of like that antique beautiful yeah yeah you know what i mean next picked up some of these stamps i'm going to color this one for coffee lovers this one i'm going to tell you now hopefully i have time to do all this coloring that i'm talking about see this is oversized four by three but this will be easy because it's a snowman this is a line by creative expressions and it's called woodware frosty cup See, it says creative expressions i've been curious about these not a bad price point for any of these Okay, I believe they are photopolymer. <laughs> All you have to do is smell it. Open it up and smell it. These are photopolymer stamps. So that's great. This is like $7 for this. And this is a huge stamp. So that's not bad then for photopolymer. I love this little gingerbread one. On scrapbook.com, this looks smaller. It's not that small. Two and a half by two and an eighth. Okay, super duper cute gingerbread post. That's adorable. Sharing a cup of winter wishes. Love. Here, this one I was supposed to use for Halloween. It didn't happen. Pumpkin gnome. This one is pumpkin gnome. See a little gnome on top of the pumpkin. Oh, I needed another week for Halloween. So cute though. Could I turn this into fall? I don't think so. But everything else though up here looks like fall. This part looks like it could be fall. Cute, cute. He is gonna be four and seven eighths by like three inches wide. And lastly, this one is long. Okay, I was curious. Curiosity answered. This one is tall tree gnome. Really is tall, but cute for a slim line. Six and three quarters of an inch tall by two and a half. Love, cute. Comes with nice sentiments too. Christmas is not Christmas without a gnome. So true. Or gingerbread. <laughs> you could just take out that gnome and just put Christmas is not Christmas without gingerbread. <laughs> and cut that off if you cut your stamps but adorable so these are nice stamps woodware there is a whole line of that woodware all year long so i'll put a general link for and scrapbook.com does carry a lot of that woodware stamps it's just under the creative expressions umbrella all right now one last thing doodlebug this is the only thing i got from their monster mash or monster madness is this little guy sitting on a couch the doodle pop didn't even get to use him giggle monster yeah that's me <laughs> giggle monster isn't he adorable on his little chair love, love i'm going to now go into the paper pads the flip through and then after that we will end the video now we're going to go into my six by six pad flip through everything is six by six inches i have nothing 12 by 12 or nothing eight by eight etc okay let's get started
Okay, crafters, so after flipping through these, I did notice something which I want to just touch on real quick. This one, the cover here looks much brighter than what this paper really is. This is great for your masculine cards, okay? This Christmas Cheer by Photoplay. Fabulous. Love the darker colorway, but it is a darker red. It is red, but think of it as red mixed with brown in it. Maroon, mahogany kind of color, but very, very pretty. Definitely easy to transition into masculine. Keep that in mind. This one, which is super cute too, has a lot of what I could use in the snow globe. I just noticed that. That could be, instead of ink blending and splattering, there you go, done. This is, has a night sky. And this one can be outdoor too. So this one is super cute. Again, sky. So there's a lot of outdoorsy goodness with this particular one. The magic of winter. So this one can go into your winter projects, your ski lodge layouts, etc. Okay, and this does come 12 by 12. I believe this one does too. Well, most of these do, I think. Only this one, the LDRS. This one does come slimline, but no bigger. But everything else, I believe, does come 12 by 12. Not sure about this one, but I know these do. Alrighty, crafters. Thanks so much for watching. Thanks so much for hanging in there. I hope you saw a lot of goodies. I know I had a big variety of products. Starting off with that Elizabeth Crafts Designs. Yes. And that gingerbread from Paper Tray Inc. Another winner out the gate. All sorts of goodies. And... Give this one a try, Snowfall, okay? Alrighty, crafters, everything will be detailed below, and I'm not ready to go. I have one more thing. This is Stampendable, which I have been using this to help with my Misty stamping tool. Well, Pink Fresh Studio came out with their stamping tool. I wasn't gonna get it, but then it was just so darn pretty. <laughs> and it comes in this cute little box too, which I'm keeping. Stamp press tool. Just adorable. This one is slightly heavier. This one is lighter. This is by LDRS Creative. Pink Fresh. Look at the colorway. Is there plastic on this? I'll figure it out. Just both of them have felt on the bottom. And this is to help you also. This one has just a little bit more weight. Not crazy, but just a little bit more weight than this one. So I will use both of them for stamping and I'll let you know, but this one is just so pretty. Another one for gift giving ideas. For your friend that loves to stamp and make cards like you, this is a great stocking stuffer. Stamp press tool, under $20. Yeah, hopefully it's in stock. She's super pretty too. So that's a great one. Alrighty crafters, until the next video, get this and this. <laughs> Stay crafty, my friends. Happy shopping if you buy anything, all right? Bye.